So this Saturday, the First United Methodist Church in Cross Plains, just right down the road, inviting you to join them for their Lord's Acre fundraiser. And here to tell us more about the Lord's Acre fundraiser and what is being planned is Miss Dora Price from Cross Plains. You made a little quick drive, a little jaunt up here today. Welcome. Thanks I for did. joining Thank us. You. Thanks for having so me. So I just asked you, this is um, a long time standing fundraiser for the church that you have been doing well for decades. <laughs> yes, we started this a little over 60 years ago in our church, and I understand it actually started in the 40s, back at, even the 1940s in for, okay. before we started it in our church. Okay, and so this is coming up this, this Saturday. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this. So Lord's Acre and, and what does what the, the funding go to? Because this is for the First United Methodist Church there. Yes, and it all goes back to the community. We make lots of money. The whole community is involved. And big, a big bazaar, if you will. A big bazaar, and we <laughs> spend a lot of time getting ready for it. We have a huge meal, a Thanksgiving meal, and that starts at 6.30 in the afternoon, in the evening, and that is after we have um, a day full a of shopping, store. if you will. We have a little <laughs> store with little items, baked items, homemade items, and we have a silent auction with lots of different items, and that's always so fun. And then at 6:30 starts our live auction, and that's when the fun really starts. Hey, there are no so. there are no friends in the live <laughs> that's auction. True. That's okay though, that's because it's true. all going back for a great cause. So, Dora, you brought some <laughs> of the things today. These are I some did. really cool I items. Did. You know, we've talked. These are just examples. The, we've of, talked extensively mm -hmm. about shortages and shipping and things that you aren't <laughs> able to get. And you know what? There's nothing better mm -hmm. than shopping local and with local artisans and individuals that's who are true. crafting things. And these are just beautiful mm -hmm. relics and mm -hmm. pieces that you could certainly pick up there this weekend. This painting Everything over here. is donated. Donated as part of all the, the food is donated. Um, I mean, all the, these the quilts items are for donated. Christmas, it's gorgeous. There's a beautiful quilt that one of the quilting clubs in our local community made. And this painting is an original oil painting. I love that. You know, this it's, it's made by one of our uh, church members. It's She's so, a beautiful uh, artist. It, it so represents what we see in West Texas. Mm -hmm. We we see mm -hmm. part of our history and our heritage out there. So, Dora, right. tell me. So, the, it's called Lord's Acre. Yes. Where do we come yes. up with that name? Lord's Acre. Um, the idea was called Lord's Acre because many many years ago, our people in our community and it's southern ranchers, farmers. Yes used uh, one acre of proceeds of profit to donate to the Lord at the end of the year after harvest. Kind of like a so tithe. It, a tithe. It all blends in with this time of the year and uh, donating back to the Lord for what He has blessed us with. So they donate one acre of profit. So this is what Lord. we're doing here. So the Lord's Acre. And we added, of course, a meal to that, you know, through the years. And, <laughs> and it, it could be a little do. more than just one acre. It could yes. be, you know, quite a bit of, of goodness. Of course it could. And then people who did not have land yeah. and to do that, they donated their time, um, donated in other ways like made homemade goods yeah. and baked goods and everything. All this going so back to the different evolved. ministries that the United Methodist Church there supports, mm -hmm. as well as um, mm -hmm. all the programs for there. So really right. a community helping community event yes. and, and, and a time yes. to be thankful because, well, that's what we are in. We're in the season of thanks. I tell people all yes. the time, I'm like, hang on, Absolutely. Christmas will get there. But in the meantime, <laughs> be sure to show your attitude of gratitude. Yes, that is A little is bit goes right. a long way. And I want to invite everybody to come out uh, also, you can participate online. We have uh, photos of most of these items online. It's going to be live online. You can bid. You can call the number that comes up online. It's uh, First United Methodist well, Church Cross Plains. Is we'll our put Facebook all that information page. up here in just a moment Facebook. so you guys can do mm -hmm. that. So mm -hmm. what a great way to do it. If you can't get to Cross Plains Saturday, right. go online. We have a okay. lot of people doing that now. Thank you so, so. much for joining us. I well, love this. You. I want you guys to make a, a lot of profit and be able to continue helping the community. These are beautiful wares and you can take them home that very day. Yes. So if the rest of you yes. would like to come out for the Lord's Acre, it's at the First United Methodist Church Cross Plains. Their address is 1000 North Main Street in Cross Plains. You can't miss it. It's Saturday, November the 13th. The little little store and the silent auction from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then there will be the turkey dinner from 5 to 6 30. The dinner is eight dollars a plate and then the live auction 6 30 p.m. Contact the church at the number on your screen 254-725-7377 or also find them on Facebook.